I'm D. Sham. First off, my wife and I, we'd like to say thank you for viewing our channel. Truly, we count it a blessing each and every time you view our videos. We are honored and privileged to have this opportunity to uplift our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. God bless YouTube for allowing us to use this platform to promote the gospel. God bless you for taking heed to the words of the living God. He is still speaking today. God bless my wonderful wife. Mm, what a blessing she is. I have obtained favor from the Lord because of my wonderful wife. Today, we have a wonderful word of encouragement for you. It's called, Rescue My Soul. Psalm 35, verse 17. It is written, Lord, how long wilt thou look on? Rescue my soul from their destructions, my darling from the lions. Rescue my soul. A, a psalm of David that we can relate to in 2024. Hmm. You know, David asked the Lord to plead his cause and to fight those that fight against him. That couldn't be more relevant in our world today with so much that is going on in this life. David didn't rely on his own ability. All the wonderful things he did, he gave honor and glory to the living God and God rewarded him. You must understand that David trusted in the Lord, depended on the Lord. He relied on the Lord. And he asked the Lord to pull out his spear and stop the ones who persecute him. He didn't want to get his hands dirty, so <laughs> David asked the Lord to do it for him that the Lord is his salvation. You will be encouraged when you allow God to defend you and you don't get your hands dirty. Then you will know and you will be encouraged that God is your source, your warrior, your deliverer. David also wanted to make his enemies blow away like the chaff before the wind. <laughs> Woo, wouldn't that be nice? All the enemies that you have to just blow away in the wind. He also asked the Lord to let the angel of the Lord chase them. When David prayed, he meant what he said. Nothing was cliche. As we mature in God, we'll pray like David prayed, to have the Lord fight our battles, which the Lord wants us to do, so that we can keep our hands clean. That's why he told us to forgive. That's why he said, vengeance is mine, saith the Lord, I will repay. But it requires patience. Just like David, we want an immediate response from the Lord. So when David was praying, he was frustrated. He was in a rush. He wanted God to do it right away. That's why he said, Lord, how long wilt thou look on? Rescue my soul from their destructions, my darling from the lions. Although he entreated the Lord and spoke loving and kind, he wanted God to do it right away, just like us. 
but it requires patience. And David did something unique. He began to thank the Lord in advance, and when that happened, it sped up his deliverance from his enemies, from those that would wrongfully rejoice over him, from those that would wink with the eye and hate him without a cause, from those that would speak peace but have deceit in their heart. You know, the ones that openly mock him saying they have seen something that they didn't, accusing him falsely, not knowing that God sees everything. The sooner we embrace that God sees everything, we'll live in a way that we know he's always present. We won't do things that we think no one is watching because we'll understand the Lord is present. David pleaded with the Lord as though the Lord hadn't seen or understood what was happening in his life. Like so many of us today. However, God requires complete obedience from us, no matter what we're experiencing in this life. And trust me, we will experience a lot. But just as the Lord spoke to Moses and Joshua, the Lord requires us to be diligent, consistent, in walking in all of His ways. He requires that we love Him with our everything that we have, not with lip service, not with just works, but with our thoughts, our actions, our intentions. And to love our neighbors as we love ourselves. As my wife often says, Jesus summed up the Ten Commandments with the two, just to make it easy. If we forget to live closely with the Lord, then we'll end up praying like David prayed. And when we're going through tests, we'll say, Lord, how long wilt thou look on? <laughs> Rescue my soul from their destructions, my darling from the lions. We won't have to pray like that. If you are not born again of the water and of the Spirit, please repent right now. After you have repented, you'll need to be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of sins, and you will receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. A man must be born of the water and of the Spirit. Jesus led us by that example when he was baptized by John in the River Jordan. And Peter confirmed what Jesus did. Paul also confirmed with those that were disciples of John and they didn't have the Holy Ghost. They were rebaptized in Acts chapter 19 in the name of the Lord Jesus and they received the gift of the Holy Ghost. All with the evidence of speaking in tongues. Mm. Rescue my soul. God sees everything. When you embrace and understand that, then you know He will rescue your soul. This has been our word of encouragement for you today from my beautiful wife and I. Have a blessed day.